What is up everybody? Elijah from Hoosier Pulls here today. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Today's a special video because it is my birthday and we're going to be opening some retail 2024 series two as well as some packages sent from houdini sports so without further ado let's get into it all right everybody here we go i am super excited to get into this first of all i want to thank houdini sports who is a long time friend and channel member also huge shout out to all my other channel members if you want to know how to become a member and support this channel uh, click the link in the description of this video i truly appreciate each and every single one of you. All right, it looks like we have a graded card. It is Patrick Wisdom. Oh my goodness. This is a 2013 Bowman Patrick Wisdom Prospect Auto on card from Chrome. This thing is sick. Let me take it out of the plastic really quick. Uh, for those of you who don't know, if you're new to the channel, uh, IPC Patrick Wisdom, he is one of my favorite cubbies to watch. Uh, his story is fantastic. Um, you know, he never gave up on himself, uh, continued his uh, dream of being a big leaguer. And um, he has some really memorable, mo memorable moments for my Chicago cubbies. So I uh, really like PC and Patrick Wisdom. All right. Our last package here is very well protected. I really appreciate when a seller really protects uh, a package. Goes a long way. All right, here we go. It looks like we have a little bundle of cards here. Let's see what we got. Oh man, we got, this looks like a little Patrick Wisdom lot here. So we have Patrick Wisdom's first Bowman Chrome card. That is sick. We have his paper first and another first Bowman Chrome. Dude, these are sweet. I don't have any of these. And these are going to go into my Patrick Wisdom PC. Um, this is really, really cool. These old, uh, I think this is 20... 2012 Bowman is a super great set. The The design is fantastic. I have a couple Bryce Harper cards from 2012 Bowman. So, all right, now to get into our retail rip, this is uh, one of the only, only hanger packs that was left on the shelf um, at my local Target. This was from Target. Um, I found the blasters at Walmart and I found the no, I found one blaster at Target and then this hanger pack, got Nick Lodolo, and then I found uh, two other blasters at Meyer. So we have a uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, significant statistics, and then Manny Machado for stars of the MLB. So these hanger packs are not going to be your best bet for pulling something crazy, but they're still really fun. And if there's like one left on the shelf, like you might as well take a chance. So we got three blasters today. I'm really excited to review blasters and see what kind of value these have. If you haven't already, uh, please check out my hanger box rip. Hanger boxes seem like, again, they're gonna be the ve best value by far, but the blasters have these uh, exclusive foil boards in them so this is like the most common um summertime foil board jack flaherty so we'll put that in a separate pile we'll go through the base pretty quick i feel like everyone has seen the base we are looking for those sneaky short prints of guys like jackson churio jackson holiday we got paul goldschmidt covering the field and sal freelich and stars of the mlb but there are also some super rare holiday parallels these summer parallels um, the ones with like the um, umbrellas and the fireworks are going to hold a lot of value if you get a top guy in that. We have James McCann, Jared Kelnick, John Berti. We got Drew Milas, rookie out of $4.99. So the nice little green ice foil. And then we got Clayton Kershaw. So first hit from a blaster box. That's pretty cool. Never complain with a numbered rookie card. Can't really beat it. We have Jose Yurkidi in our 
little, I mean, it's not, it's still a parallel, but it's like our common, common uh, foil parallel. Adam Duvall, Alex Cobb, Pablo Lopez, looking for Shota. That is my guy. We got Julio in the 89. That is a really cool card. They have uh, autographs of these as well. Then another Manny Machado. So I think blasters will be pretty solid in their own right, but I don't, I don't think they're going to be able to, to keep up with the hangers because the hangers, we were pulling like a numbered card to two numbered cards uh, per box. It was really, really great. We have Bryce Harper home run challenge. That'll be fun. One with Bryce Harper uh, last year when uh, he played the Braves. That was the first home run challenge I ever won. It was a double down and he hit it like 440 feet. So that was really fun. We have a Jackson Wolf rookie for the Pirates. I'm excited uh, for update already to get uh, Paul Skeens. We got Yamamoto right there. Miguel Rojas, JP Martinez, Jordan Adams. We got fantasy favorites, Spencer Strider. It's too bad that he's out. He was, uh, he was a lot of fun to watch. But now we got Paul Skeens, who really looks like he's going to be dominant as long as he stays healthy. We got Basabe, Evan Phillips. Looks like we have a gold. Okay. And this will probably be a team card. Oh, nope. It's John Means. So two numbered cards out of blaster boxes. And then Michael Soroka is going to be a rainbow foil. That's pretty sweet. Then Carlos Correa. So John Means for the Orioles. So we are, we're hitting some good stuff. I did, I didn't think blasters were going to, I thought they were going to be okay. We got Tommy Edmond as our last parallel. So we didn't get any of the rare uh, summer holiday parallels, but that's okay. I mean, a gold and a green out of 399 out of one blaster is really, really solid. We got Fernando Tatis. They have black parallels of the All-Stars, and it looks really cool. And then Kyle Harrison, rookie. So I would say we did pretty good for the first blaster box. Thanks so much for tuning in. Again, if you're new, I truly appreciate it. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Really helps out the channel. We've grown so much. Uh, we just passed 4,500 subscribers. So I can't thank you guys enough. I've had such a blast on this channel. Um, I love making content. I've learned so much. Um, met, met so many amazing people. All right, we got a Yamamoto. Yamamoto in our holiday foil parallel. That is sweet. I will definitely take that. I thought that he was really, really like not going to adjust well in the big leagues during his first couple uh, outings. It looked like he was having a lot of trouble, but he has adjusted and he has been a whole lot of fun to watch. So these, these blasters are a lot of fun. And I think the holiday parallels definitely gives kind of a fun extra chase. We got covering the field, Freddie Freeman, and then Junior Caminero. That's a cool shot right there. We actually pulled Junior Caminero's uh, rookie auto, the 89 version, out of a hanger box. Made a uh, little short of that. We got Reese Hoskins. That looks weird for him to be in a Brewers uniform. I'm not a Phillies fan, but just seeing Reese Hoskins in anything but a Phillies uniform is just weird. We got a retail blue, Garrett Whitlock. These are not numbered, but uh, they can be pretty tough pulls. And then we got Matt Olson, stars the MLB. So let me know if you guys have picked up any blasters so far. I have really enjoyed this. I, like I said, there we got Jordan Lawler. It's a decent rookie. I usually uh, just go for hangers um, and hobby. And then we have a Yordan home run challenge. So I'll have to enter that one too. We got Gunner. But Series 2 is usually always better than Series 1. We got Brandon Lau in our parallel right there. And then Update um, for like getting hits is usually better than Series 2. So the short prints are, or the print runs um, get shorter and shorter per each release. We got Mickey Mantle in the 89. That's pretty cool. 
I like when they uh, put, uh, you know, legends you know, from the 50s and 60s into modern sets, as long as they don't overdo it. But I'm never going to complain over a Mickey Mantle or Jackie Robinson. There are also golden mirrors. Golden mirrors are super, super tough to pull. We got Tyler Fitzgerald. Jordan Adams. Here we got Alex Bregman in the Chrome. The stars of the MLB Chrome is cool, but the regular ones, I'm just not uh, not a huge fan of. I think it's because it's been we got Gavin Lux. It's been a uh, kind of a staple insert for the past like three years, so I'm ready to move on from stars of the MLB. Plus, I'm not a Huge fan of the design. It doesn't look bad. I'm just, uh, there we go. Shohei Otani, all-star. And then Jose Altuve. All right, last pack. So this uh, this blaster hasn't been as good as the first one besides the, uh, the Yamamoto, but I mean, if this one doesn't produce anything crazy and we just get the Yamamoto, I will be okay with that. Got a Justin Turner. Looks like we got a rainbow foil here. Edward Oliveris is going to be our rainbow foil. And then Mason Wynn, who has been really surprising, really fun to watch too. All right, last blaster up. If you're still with me, I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Again, this is, I have really enjoyed this release. I think that it's a lot of fun. I think that the rookie checklist is actually better than a lot of people anticipated. And who knows, some of these guys could become like really, really good. And then series two will be, you know, pretty uh, sought after in the future. We got Drew Waters, Bryce Jarvis for the Diamondbacks. It's a cool shot of Drew Smiley. He'll go to my Cubs PC. So far, we haven't pulled any of the other big rookies. We've got Bobby Witt Jr., Fantasy Favorites, and Nolan Arenado. Also, we haven't hit one of, like, the SP holiday cards. There's, like I said, there's, like, the hot dogs. There's the umbrellas. There's a lot of cool, cool different stuff in there. Spencer Steer, Heston Kierstad, that's a pretty, pretty good rookie. We got Josh Young, Chrome J-Ram. That's a cool card. And then Frankie Lindor in the regular stars. I still think that hangers are going to be my, my go-to, but this is a lot of fun. The hangers have the exclusive yellows, um, and those are starting to grow on me. I actually do really like those. We got Carlos Radon. Jock Peterson, Henry Davis in the City to City. That's a cool card. I actually really like that. And then we got Adley Rutschman, Home Run Challenge. Have to enter that one too. Hopefully uh, looking to win this year. I'm like 0 for 4 from Series 1. So, But once the, once the ball starts flying uh, in the, the summer, once it gets like really hot, we got Parker Meadows. That's not too bad. I know they, uh, they sent him back down to AAA. But uh, he could be solid. We got Canario, Drew Rahm, Irving Lopez, Will Benson. We got Nick Castellanos, Ichiro. It's a sweet card. And then we have Gunner in the stars. All right, three packs to go. Again, let me know what you guys think of this. We got Kyle Gibson in our summer parallel. All right, so we got Jake McCarthy. Miles Mastroboni, Slade Sassoni, we got Christian Vasquez, Juan Soto, that's a cool one. He's wearing the shades, and then Kyle Harrison. All right, let's see if we can snag a numbered card out of these last two packs. Numbered card or an auto. Let's see what we can do here. Shane Baz, Lucas Sims, Yoan Moncada, Alex Call, we have Ronnie. I'm not going to try to announce her last name, um, but this is the women in baseball. This is actually, these are kind of tough pulls. 
So uh, I believe it's like one in 74 blaster packs, if I'm not mistaken. So that's actually pretty cool. And then we do have a numbered card. It is George Brett. Like I said, the all-star black cards are very, very nice. So we'll put George Brett right there. Then we got Alex Bregman. So I, I am really happy overall with, uh, with this opening. I think these are a lot of fun. Pete Crow Armstrong, finally. There's another good rookie. I know he hasn't produced a whole lot, but you know he's from my Cubs, so I'm gonna PC him. And then we have another backwards, Luis Urias for the Mariners in the rainbow foil. And then Jose Altuve. All right, let's recap really, really quick. All right, so out of three blasters, we pulled uh, three rainbow foils, and then we got a bunch of the summer parallels um, none of the short print summer parallels, but we did pull a John Means gold to 2024. This really sweet George Brett black border to $2.99. I really, really like those. And then definitely the best card was this Yamamoto summer parallel. Really sweet. Then the Drew Milas green foil to $4.99. And then the women in baseball Ronnie Gajownik. So overall, I think this was a really fun rip. I had an absolute blast. This Yamamoto is probably staying in the PC. I, I really like this card. So thanks so much for watching. As always, give this video a like and thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We're going to keep growing, keep making videos. And until next time, we'll see you later.